Okay, so there was one night I was doing another set watch on the back lot at Universal Studios. And I was on the uh, New York Street location. And I was posted in front of the movie theater. Um, now, again, as I mentioned in a previous episode, uh, you've all seen this uh, New York Street location in a million movies, a million TV shows. Um, and getting back to the reference of Dirty Harry, uh, I was on that street where at the beginning of Dirty Harry he confronts the bank robber uh, and he walks from a hot dog stand across the street and in the background you can see this uh, movie theater with a marquee <laughs> that says Play Misty for Me, which of course was a movie that Clint Eastwood himself directed the year before. A uh, very famous movie. Um, but anyway, that's where I was. I was sitting right in front of that movie theater. It was, um, it wasn't quite nighttime. It was almost, it was, the sun had gone down. It was starting to get dark. I was sitting there and I looked up to a building off to my right. And it's the building at the end of the street. It's actually not so much of a building as a, a facade, which is for the most part, just an empty building. It looks like a real building from the front, but you go inside and it looks like just a big garage with, you know, junk inside. You know, it could be equipment inside or wood that they're using for building sets or, or who knows what. But basically it's just a big empty, um, empty uh, opening inside. And they could, if they wanted, you know, build a set inside a, a, an office or a, a bedroom or whatever if they really wanted to but for the most part it's just to be seen from the outside so anyway uh getting back to this bit of strangeness that particular night so i'm sitting there i look up i look up to this facade the top floor and it was about a four or five story facade i look up in the top window in the corner and I see this bluish white light kind of moving around inside the window, not outside the window, but inside the window, inside the, f the frame, inside, inside the building itself. Now, why would it be inside? I don't know. I mean, there's nobody in there. There's nobody out there. There's nobody in that building. There's nobody out there but me. On the entire 400 plus acre back lot, there was a handful of security people and a lot of raccoons <laughs> and some deer and uh, not too much else. But, you know, there, there weren't people running around. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't a, a day with a lot of activity going on. So I look up and I'm watching this blue-white light just moving around inside this window. And I'm looking at it, and I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from. It's not coming from outside. There's nothing shining inside through the window from outside. What it looks like is there's somebody up there with a light inside that window just moving the light around. But it's not something that can easily happen. Um, and obviously, if, if I'm the only one out there on that street I would hear anyone moving around anyway it just it wasn't really possible I mean possible sure probable no I don't think so um, just there's there was nobody back there so I'm trying to figure out where this lights coming from I, I have no idea so I call it in my security base I say can you send someone out here check out this building I got some weird light shining uh, up on top so a few minutes later my supervisor comes out he looks, he, there's nothing, by, by this time the light is gone. Uh, I tell him, I say, uh, something up there, moving around, uh, bluish white light, uh, you know, check it out. So he goes into the building. Um, I don't remember if there was a way to get up there. I mean, I'm sure there was. I don't know if he actually went up there, but he checked it out. And he found absolutely nothing. 
absolutely nothing. There was no reason for that light. I have no idea what that light was. Um, to this day, I, I still scratch in my brain is trying to figure out where that light came from. I have no idea. Anyway, just one more bit of craziness from the back lot, Universal Studios. More to come in my next episode. Thanks for listening.